Eagles win, Dallas loses. I don't care if Dallas sat every damn starter. I don't care if they sat Dak. I don't care if they sat Zeke. I don't care if they sat Sean Lee. I don't care if they sat Des Bryant. I don't care about nothing. We won, and that's all that matters. Big win for us. I'm not going to talk too much about the game. I mean, obviously, there was nothing. Dallas didn't need, didn't need it. Dallas had needed to do nothing with the game. Uh, but the Eagles needed the win. Absolutely, the Eagles needed the win. And I'll tell you why. Because obviously, our, our season went to shit. <laughs> and uh, But it's nice to go 2-0 in the last two games, especially divisional games. Sorry, I got a lipper in. Long day at work. Obviously, the Eagles tried out a lot of new players. Not really too much players, but new running back, Troll. I think his name is Troll Watson, I believe. Ran, ran pretty decent. Obviously, Sproles got a little bit of, a little bit of action. Uh, Carson Wentz looked very, very good. One of his better games, I believe, in the year. Aguilar got hurt. Dude's a fucking bum. I really hope he's off our team next year. I really hope. Not too much. Uh, not too much. Offensively. Huge. Our defense played great. I don't care if it was against Tony Romo. I don't care if it was against Mark Sanchez. I don't care if it was against Dak Prescott. Picks with the great with the great interceptions. We needed this win to go into the offseason with the win and, and to have leave the bad taste in our mouth. Obviously. Going 7-9 sucks. Sucks horribly, but, you know, it's better than 5-11 and 11 or 8, you know. It sucks, obviously. It, do it does. But now, we go into the offseason with two dubs. Hopefully, we make a lot of changes. We officially have the 14th pick of the draft. I believe, uh, according to NFL.com, because the stupid Vikings had to blow out the Bears. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I I expect a lot to happen. I don't expect too much to happen. I expect a lot of re-signings. I expect Aguilar to be gone. I unfortunately expect Ryan Matthews to be gone. Obviously, Sproles is staying for his last year. He says he's retiring at the 2017 season. I don't see us keeping Kenyon Barner. A um, couple guys on the defensive side. I don't keep. I don't see us keeping Vinny Curry. Um, I didn't think we were going to keep Connor Barwin, but he said he's going to take a he just, he wants to take a pay cut to stay in the Eagles. So I'd love to see that. But that's pretty much what I really, really I wanted to talk. I don't really like I said I don't want to really talk about much about this game because it really wasn't. You know, obviously, you know, you know. Congratulations, Tony Romo, for getting your first touchdown in a year. Mark Sanchez, you still suck. You always sucked, and you always will suck. Um, bold move by uh, Garrett to leave Zeke out and take Dak out when uh, two records could have been broken. Most single wins by uh, a rookie. Dak Prescott holds the record with Big Ben now. And uh, I mean, Elliott needed, I think, about 170 something yards to beat the record. But regardless, it is what it is. Great win. But now I'm focusing. I'm purely focusing right now on, on uh, hockey season. I'll be posting a lot of. I'll be posting more flyer videos. Obviously, I'm a Flyers fan. But um, the bulk of my videos are going to be flyers now, and obviously playoffs. Um, I believe either tomorrow or the next day after that, I'm going to be posting my wild my wild card games, picks, predictions, um, just talking about it. Kind of how I did last year, but um, this year I'm gonna have one of my very, very good friends, Randy. Um, we call him Dead Crow where I'm at, or Baby Bo, or Bo Bandy. He's a good, great friend of mine. He's a huge, huge Tennessee Titans fan. He's a football guru. I mean, the dude knows his football, so I think you guys are gonna like him. Um, so we'll be posting those videos. 
pretty, pretty soon. I'm pretty excited about the playoffs. I think the wild card games are next week are at least NFC wise. It's the Giants and Packers and then the Lions and Seahawks. And then I believe it's Pittsburgh, Miami, and I want to say Houston and the Raiders, I want to say. So the AFC side, obviously, we can pretty much tell who's going to win that, but the NFC is up in the air right now. Obviously, the Packers are red hot, and uh, the Giants look good, and the Seahawks have not looked good, and the Lions, the Lions are the Lions. <laughs> I, don't really don't know how much, I don't really know how else to say that. So I'll try to get that up this, obviously I'm going to be getting that up in the next couple days. But, quick little video, quick little rant. Shout out to all my Philly Knights, you know who you are. Um, go Birds in the off season, and uh, let's do this.